start by d- kneading the dumplings so I could let it set for like 20 minutes, half an hour or so. I already cut up some um, sweet pepper, as Jamaicans know it. Um, other people call it bell pepper or whatever. Um, I just crushed out some garlic, washed it off, added to the pot. Cutting up some scotch vitamin pepper. Everybody smells scotch vitamin pepper when they're cutting it up. Just for the mere fact that you don't know if it's really spicy or not. So you smell it to see how spicy it is. Add a little olive oil so that could saute and simmer down. While I boil the saltfish for the extra salt. Already boiled it twice already. And I taste it and I feel like that's how I like it. Everybody like have different taste buds so boil it to fit your your taste that you're looking for. And then after you boil it, you try to get off all the scale. Try to get rid of all the bones you can. I don't like having bone in my Afian saltfish. interrupt you too much while you're eating or consuming I should say I'm taking out the main bone from out the middle get all the meat off of that get rid of that you don't want that big old bone in the middle of your food while you're eating so I separated most of the bone and all of the bone as much as I could. So now I'm gonna stir this around a little bit. Making sure that it's not sticking to the pot. And then I'm gonna add my sausage, bacalao, Spanish people would say. Bacalao in Spanish. So I'm adding the sausage. I gotta get everything, this is the fancy stuff, man. I'm just breaking it apart a little bit. Make sure I get out as much bone as I can if I see any. A lot of people like to use their hand and pull the, the, um, the, the meat apart. But I don't see the difference using a fork because I don't like when it's minced out too much. I like chunks of sausage, so. I just do it, do it a little bit, and then as it cooks, it breaks apart itself, so you don't have to do much about that. Now, I'm adding the Afia Boricana um, link to the market, um, Jamaican Aki. This one is very good. Um, I like this brand actually because it's whole, it's not minced out like the rest of them or other brands. You know what I mean? A little bit close to how we used to it from the tree in Jamaica. Whole, not broken, broken up. Yeah. Everything is pretty much cooked so you don't have to have it on high heat, you just turn the heat down. And now, the the, the need flour was sitting down for about half an hour or so. 20 minutes, half an hour, or something like that. So now, notice, when I make, when I'm making my dumpling, I, um, I use the middle of my hand. So that's easy to wash more thoroughly. Some people use the thumb, some use people use their fingers, and I don't really like that too much because, you know, you can't be too thorough washing your, 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 your um, between your fingers and stuff like that, so this is how I make them. Um, everybody do it differently, but yeah, and get a few of those in the pot, break up some corn. Peel, peel two plantains, and that's the meal right there.